Good morning, it is Tuesday, I'm off work today. Uh, that's it for the week though. <laughs> I'm gonna get we're off work again on Sunday, so we'll see if I get some more stuff done then. Anyhow, I don't look today. Let's go and uh, see old Grandma Dave's getting on. He's been very busy. He's been getting his garden all sorted. He's got it manured. Old Doug is well ahead of what I'm doing. He's also got his greenhouse sorted by the looks of things. There he is there. Oh, Granda! Oh, we're ready for the tomatoes. Be a champion. How are we getting on? I've just got to hoist some more of this crap food. I've had the wild but I've, I've mucked all them. <laughs> I keep putting them back in. Well, you're just moving stuff from one place to another, aren't you? I can't find that thing. <laughs> you still can't find it. He's looking for something he's put down, but he can't remember where he's put it. Does that sound familiar? Because I'll tell you, that's where I get it from. I get it off him. <laughs> but yeah, you're all sorted, the garden, like. I took it off here. He took it off in there. But he's got his bubble wrap up, ready to go, and he'll have the shelves and everything ready to go as well. I say I've got some uh, tomatoes ready for him. We just need to get some uh, some sea coal for the for the fire, and we'll be ready to go. But I, uh, yeah, well ahead of me. I need to get my finger pulled out and get my garden sorted. Um, it's three bags, but can I it Well, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. I'll speed in a bit anyways about it. Right, well, I'm going to go to mine because I've got my giant cabbages brought down the day, so I'm going to go put them away. Just four, we're going to put a side in the bin. All right, okay. So we've got... Oh, well, that's what I showed you, I tell you about it. I don't know, we'll talk about it now anyways, because I've got a couple of deals from these. All right, this is where the first four giant green cabbage are going to be going into today. So I need to get the cover put back on. I need to get it flattened off. And then uh, we're looking to putting the four in today. That's the, the main cabbages and the five litre pots brought in. I am going to put four of them in today. I need to source four tyres because I'm going to use tyres to be able to support them this year. So I'm going to select which four I want to put in and the other ones are going to be going in the greenhouse uh, for another couple of more weeks. Now, I le looked on the last time I saw the giant green cabbage, the ones I had, and I didn't put them in until uh, four in four weeks time basically so near the end of april so these are very early these four but we'll see what becomes of them i need some for the harrogate show so i'm gonna have four in here and four outside as well right that's the four selected so we've got one two three four now because i've already manured these beds i'm not going to put anything else extra in so i'm just going to get cracked on get these put in straight away now Right, just putting the last one in here now as you can see got my handy little uh, big dibber that i made myself it's really so much easier than digging the hole especially when it's already been dug over and it's nice and loose soil in any case right so got my cabbage these are actually in four litre pots now normally i put them in 10 litre buckets before i put them out but they're going to be going out anyway so we'll see what happens so let's have a look i'll show you the root systems on these oh, a nicely look at that man Look at that! Look at this system on that! Absolutely fantastic! Fantastic! So I'll just tease the roots up the bottom and then just a case of putting it in the wall. Drop the gun, done, sorted. That's them done. Now, what I'm going to be doing, like I think I mentioned before, I can't remember, <laughs> I've been looking for some tyres. Uh, I've no way they're awesome, so what I'll be doing is I'll be using tyres this year. Um, that's something, a tip I got off Mr. Saint from uh, Malvern, so thank you very much again, Tim. Um, so, the giant cabbage are in, well, four of them are anyways. The other six I've got are in the greenhouse and they'll stay in there until they're ready to go outside once I finish digging outside. But, 
to start. Another important thing to do once you've walked, put, uh, put anything in is just give it a good drink. Not just on the plant, but also around the plant as well, because you want them roots to be searching for where the water is. And obviously all the, the manure I've already got on the top of here will wash down in with it, so good job. Right, we'll get the rest of these done and pop over and see how Granna's getting on. Well, that's Granna done for the day anyways. He's gone. He's went to see Granny. Um, I have been planning, looking, moving some things around, tidying up. I'll show you... Uh, through what I've got sorted for this new polytunnel, which I will be getting sorted shortly. So I've been collecting some bits and pieces. I've got me uh, me wooden lats, and I've also got me CLS as well for the door frames. I'm probably going to need another two, uh, another four of these, so I can get the frame across sorted as well. Uh, or unless I just double these up and use these, I'll probably end up just using what I've got to be honest. So I've got the the materials that I need to then get. Like say the the door frame sorted for that side, that side for this tunnel here. I do need to go down and get the, the black plastic for the base here. I need to level it off as well, and then uh, I'll be ready to go. I've brought the the pallet collars in here just to, for a rough idea, because I'm going to need to obviously get some wood for around the edge. So I'm going to get some scaffold boards for around the edge, and then I can get the outside. The uh, dress netting on the mesh that I say, that's what I say, and then it'll be ready for the plastic to go on in the next two months basically. It's because I want to get everything planted in here for April time. But yeah, that big, big shiny thing in the sky there that's the sun. <laughs> that's my greenhouse chair. I'm gonna have a five, I'm gonna have five, ten minutes just enjoying the garden before I head back and uh, relieve Leslie of our duties because she's going to work this afternoon so we'll go get the kids yeah it's water grander it's just a case of getting sea coal sorted out uh, which I'll be getting sorted uh, he's got the fire already started for the first time this year I'll be bringing them tomatoes down for him and so on some more so uh, we can get a head start and then uh, grandma can do his thing and pot up and stuff like that as well so it's somebody's birthday there it's birthday party this Saturday I'm not too sure if it's his birthday this week or not I'll have to check but I've got a couple of gifts for uh, a subscriber uh, who I'm going to go and see on Sunday and we're going to get some carrots sewn as well so uh, I've been looking forward to seeing them uh, and uh, I told them we'll get some carrots sewn so uh, we'll see that on Sunday but for me the day that's me sorted I'm going to be going home getting the kids sorted and then uh, I'm at work till I'm working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday uh, I've actually got an assessment date tomorrow for a potential new job so uh, I'll tell you about that and see how, see what comes of it if anything on the day so I'll catch you on Sunday Good morning, Sunday morning. Uh, as you can see, I'm back at home in the shed here. I've just uh, opened up. It's nice and fresh day. It's a beautiful day today. Getting down to the allotment, and uh, we've got a special visit on the on the plot today as well. And I'm going to go and visit them this morning as well. But we see how things are going on in here. I've been very busy. Lots of things have been uh, obviously everything's been growing at a rapid rate. I will have to start getting things taken out of here um, because they're getting too big. <laughs> Next week, I will be putting them onions. The fort the front in their final pots because I need the space uh, and I'm, I'm constantly having to try and lift these down so they don't get uh, burn off the, the lights. Um, there's another one there, now. it's a fresh one's coming in. They're looking really good, I'm pleased with the way they're looking. I've also got, um, I'm going to show you some bad news. So I sold my tomatoes last week or a couple of weeks ago and uh, the I thought they were right in here but there's been a problem. So as you can see, all of these ones are getting a bit of cold. And I think, how the hell can they get cold when they're in a propagator with the heated bottom on all the time? Well, let me show you. There. I had that open like that. And these were sitting there. And as you can see, the ones that have been close to the window here of getting the, the cold air through, the draft, and it's hit them. So lessons and mis mistakes learned, keep the bottom one shut. So I've pretty much lost all of the, all of the, um, the golden delicious. I will sl uh, select through some of these ones, the better ones and pot them up. These ones need potted up as well. I'm taking them down for a grand idea of the day and I'm going to set some more away. So learn from your mistakes this time around. Let's do it the right way with a bigger pot, a bigger, um, 
a bigger tray so i've already got everything marked up ready to go money makers and also gone as the light for the second zones uh, i'll have to put some more another full tray gone as the light in and just get them sprayed all the way across there make sure there's no more in the packet which there's not and just give them a spread around champion same with the money maker doing this left-handed we wrong not me wrong how about my non-strong hand there's still some in the bottom there i'll get them out in a second oh there we go excellent one more as you can see, I'm leaving a gap in the middle so we can see which one's which. So that's them two done. You can see there's a gap in the middle here. And then all I need to do, some compost over the top. Try not to disturb it too much. So I don't want to push the compost over each side because then we'll, obviously if I'm using a full tray for one seed, it doesn't really matter. But because I'm not here, it does. So thinly I'll compost with the top, you can use vermiculite if you like, anything like that you want. And then with me, handy push it down or two up on there. So it's contact with the soil. It's all level. Jobs are good. Right, I'll get that a drink. And then I'll put that in the shed and there's another lot of tomatoes sorted and so on. Right, that's I'm doing. Give them a drink. Everything else I had a drink as well. I've got these the beat with the pot up but they're looking waiting later right time we're going to get some compost and let's go and see a little guest right so i'll pop over to see a little friend little visitor and we're going to plant some uh after in fact i'll let you tell i'll let him tell you anyways so this is who's this what's your name ethan, ethan. how old are you ethan six. and when were you six uh, on friday mm -hmm. are you friday and do you like gardening mm -hmm. you've been watching me on youtube mm -hmm. are you oh good box <laughs> What's easy? Got this is all new clothes for for, for my birthday. Yeah. Do you like Spider Man? My guy like Spider Man too. But we're not going to talk about Spider Man, are we? Nah. What have I getting you? What you got for your birthday? What did I get you? Um, a card. Got your card and got you some compost. Which I got there and got you a big pot as well, haven't I? Because you wanted to grow some carrots, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And did you get any carrot seeds? Where are they? Gotta get them with your pocket. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, look at that for entertainment value. <laughs> Are we going to sow these today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, let's get everything set up and we'll get them sowed. I'll show you how to do it, right? Right, so now's the time to start sowing carrots. We're going to have some lovely weather over the next few weeks. Uh, and uh, Ethan's going to start by sowing some sweet candle carrots, which I've given you my special carrots. Do you know why? I couldn't find the other ones, so I'll give you my special ones for the show. <laughs> so we've got a 30 litre pot, which is a good size to use for the carrots to go down um, to the bottom and obviously you get a decent carrot out of them. I've grown them in buckets before and they've come out absolutely spot on, so there should be no reason why you, little man, can't grow carrots by us in the dinner, right? And they pull them up yourself later on in the air, all right? So what we need to do is we need to get the compost in here first and then we'll show everybody what we're going to do, all right? We're getting them done. Good job, Ethan. You got you got them on your fingernails now. Oh no way! Oh, it's all right. It's a bit of muck. It's fine. You know, you're not getting on here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get a finger, right? And we're going to put little holes in. Not yet. I'll show you. Not like that. Not like that. Right. So we're going to put it in. I'll show you. Right. So we're going to do it in spaces so that the carrot can grow because it cuts the, the carrot seed really little, which I'll show you in a second, right? But the carrots get about that big, so you've got to think. We need to give it space. Right, so we're going to do like one there, and we'll do like one there, one there, one there. All right, so if you can do one here, that's it, not too far, not too deep. All right, not too deep, go on there, and then do another one here. That's it, good lad. Another one here. All right, there we go. Another one here. So we'll 
in the circle, another one here. There we go, that's sorted, right, so that's all around that side and we've got some space in the middle, haven't we? So we can do another one here. Right, there we go, that's it, that's too deep. You've got, little, you've got little long fingers, right, another one here. Right, another one here. That's it, don't cover the other ones up, remember? Right, and another one here. And last but not least, we'll have one in the middle. Right, so now you've made what's called your drills. Now, we can get your carrots out of your pocket. Right? You've got to be very careful, because if, uh, if it's windy, these carrots will blow all over. I've had it done myself with parsnips before. And what we're going to do... I can't hear them. You can hear the carrots. Can you hear the seeds in there, can you? Little, little tic tacs on there. Right, so we're going to get them. I'm going to get you put your hand out like that. Right? Pull them up like that. Right, ready? Carrot seeds. Uh, right, so all I need to do is one per place and put it in. That's it. Oh, you, you don't drop them. Like that. You keep that hand steady like that. That's it. The ones that you drop, you put in the holes. Now, the ones that you holes that you do, we'll cover over so that we've already done them. All right. Right, so then we'll just cover them all over. All right, cover them over. No, just gently, just gently like that. There we go. Put them gentle. It's like putting the baby in the bed. You're doing, you're putting your babies in the bed, right? Tap down, that's it, pat them down. And that's it, sorted, all done. High five. There you go, and so you've just done your first lot of carrots. So there's a load of sweet candles sorted, but what happens if you forget what's in here? That's why I come prepared, you see. So what we'll do is right on here, we'll put sweet candle. Candle and it's a, it's a carrot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And what's the date today? It's the 20th today, so we'll do 20th of the third. So that's when we sowed them. Right, we'll just put that at one side like that. And we'll put that somewhere sunny, and I think this is a good place here to put it. So if you get that side, right, ready? Can you lift? Right, we'll put it here. Step back, step back. Oh, right, and then all you need to do now is to water it. Right? And then that's all done. Where's the water? What? Where's the water? In the tap, probably. <laughs> we'll be able to get the water sorted out for you. But do you want to tell everybody here? It's the carrots done. So that's the carrots done. Let's see if you can see up the camera and tell them all. So, can you not see because the sun? <laughs> Never mind. Well, that's all the carrots. That's, that's Ethan's first carrot sown, isn't it? I want updates with these men on pictures. All right. But now, Ethan, do you want to come to the allotment with me and come see the allotment? Do you? You want to come see the allotment? See what I've been doing. Well, Ethan's going to come over the garden with me. He's going to come and see the garden. So, my kids are welcome. Well, I will see. Hi, sister wants to come and have All right, okay then. Seems like I'm getting, I'm getting rid of my kids and picking somebody else's up. <laughs> oh well, let's get going. Let's go. Right on the plot. I'm just busy showing Ethan around. Uh, Ethan and Lacey, and then they're behind us. I'm just showing them what's happening. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, you having a good time? Yeah. Hey, asking lots of questions. Ethan's favourite thing at the minute is what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Isn't it? Well, I've got a surprise because what I'm going to do is we're going to empty this bucket because in this bucket is a surprise. So we'll do have a look in there and see what's in it in a minute. But let's go and have a look and see what else is in the garden. All right, and I'll show you around. All right. So I've just shown Lacey and Ethan here inside the giant house for this year. Mm -hmm. And they've been asking questions about the loofahs. And I've been telling them all about the loofahs. And you can see here what the big loofah. I'm busy taking the cover off. I'll take this home and I'll give it a wash and I'll get the seeds out and we'll have seeds for this year as well. You can see the seeds in there. My, I've already told you where my home is. I'm not telling everybody where my home is though. <laughs> but we'll uh, finish off doing this then. We've got one job to do in here if we get a chance to. Is that a big one? You found a big one? So what we're going to do, we're going to pull all these potatoes out and we're going to see what we've got out of these potato buckets because I need some for dinner. We got some, we'll put them in a bucket to the side.
Well, me two super helpers, look at that. How many potatoes are you getting out of there? Oh, we're not going to count them all. You think there's lots there, isn't there? There's lots, isn't there? We'll just say it's lots. Look at the size of them. They're huge, aren't they? Yeah, this one's more bigger. That one's more bigger. All right, they're having... Ones, 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 got it. Oh, don't smash it. We need it. Ones. But that's but not just that's not just one bucket. I've got another bucket over there. You know, well, should we let me that one as well? Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Then I'll get these ones sorted because I'll take the big ones out. And if you want to take some for tea, you can take some for new potatoes for tea and yeah, give them a try. You no, know, you're not taking that one. That should be big in. <laughs> right. I can't keep them any longer. They're gonna try and dig some more potatoes up. I've got to find a pot, but they're too eager. You can wait a second. <laughs> He's got one already! Oh my goodness. Right, let's get the other time lapse and get this bucket empty as well. <laughs> What you got? <laughs> they're some cali sized potatoes, aren't they? They're good ones, aren't they? What are the ears, are they? <laughs> I think I'm going to have to give you another bucket for to grow potatoes now because you had that much fun pulling them out, didn't you? Yeah. Was that fun? Yeah. Hey. Oh, look at all them potatoes. <laughs> I'm going to have to get these under control. <laughs> That's a big one, isn't it? But no, well done, guys. That's enough, Ethan. Well done. Right, let's get them all together and I'll give you something to take home, all right? Ooh. No, not taking them ones. <laughs> right, showing them on the other side. Obviously, it's no one here prepared yet. I'll throw this another day. Oh, that's horse poo in there, mind. <laughs> Come and have a look over here, Ethan. Come and look over here. See, look there. There's, uh, there's rhubarb in there, you see. What do you mean? It's lovely rhubarb. The rhubarb's all there. It's grown. I know that's a compost bin, that, that's no good that anymore, that's done. Right, that's pretty much a sort of the garden. Let's go and have a look at the other flowers on the other side. <laughs> jeez, eh? jeez. No, no, we're finished now. So that's us all done for today. Yeah. The, do you hear you had fun? Yeah. Enjoyed it. I didn't even know you were coming, so I've, you've had a bonus, haven't you? Yeah. So I'm going to give them some potatoes to take away with them. And you can grow some potatoes yourself as well, Ethan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How? Because you put them in the pot and then you'll grow them. But I'll show you how to do that next time. All right? Okay. But that's me all done for the day. Uh, like I say, I've got the day off. I'm not quite there yet. I'm not ready to say, <laughs> I'm not ready to say bye yet. But uh, yeah, you've had a good time. It was lovely having you on the plot today as well. And I hope them carrots are going to come out lovely. All right? Mm -hmm. And are you going to look after them as well, are you? Yeah. yeah no. All right, fair enough then. <laughs> He's the one. He's the gardener. But no, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Next week, we'll see what we can get done. I've got a few days off. I'm not ready to say bye yet. Wait a minute. I'll tell you when. Bye. <laughs> so, I'll, uh, yeah, well, it looks like I'm being forced. I've got to go. I've got to get these two back to their parents. Bye. And I'm going to see my own kids. So, I'll see you all next time. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for messaging. Thanks for subscribing. Bye. And what? 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 Bye. I was going to bye. Go on, then. Go on. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Box. <laughs>